up guys it is living with lt i am your host how are you guys appreciate your guys uh support today is the big day we got my tops chrome box finally but i wanted to show you guys in the background my favorite mookie bets cards uh before i get into that i wanted to um thank all my lowest subscribers we're up to 74 now as you guys know i'm going to be giving the kyle kuzma rookie card who where he had a great night uh tonight he scored the uh Last three bucket, or uh, the winning three, right? And um, he should, uh, his card prices I'm anticipating, they're gonna be going up uh, in the bubble um, as we speak. And so, um, yeah, um, these are my Mookie Bet cards. Oh, before then, I wanna throw a few shout outs as uh, people have been so awesome in this hobby, this community, throwing shout outs to me, um, giving me great advice, mentoring me as I've been going along with the hobby and just absolutely love the people on the way. I want to throw a big shout out to Schultz's Card Pools. Um, he has about 300 something subscribers. Awesome guy, great content. Learned a lot from his channel. He just ripped a Topps Chrome box. I learned from him that Luis Robert is the big cards and I've been watching from other channels, Luis Roberts, and Kyle Lewis are the two big cards for now that people are looking in, um, you know, the Topps Chrome and Bowman's and all that good stuff. So wishing me luck uh, right there. If you saw in the picture, there's my Mookie Betts jersey. Obviously, you can tell I'm a diehard Dodger fan. Uh, I wanted to show you my, my Mookie Betts cards right there. All serial number. Um, got these for very reasonable prices. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And these are for my PC or personal collection, as people call them, the hobby. So I had to put them in the background. Hopefully, they're my good luck cards. And uh, I'm going to put the box right here. The little display I have right here is actually what I use uh, for when I'm selling cards online. It's a great thing. I got it for Amazon under 20 bucks. If you guys are interested, just uh, direct message me or comment below and I'll definitely keep you guys uh, in uh, tune with that. So shout out to my boy Sh Schulte's card and uh, sport card collector 959. Um, cool dude as well. I, I like the little East Coast accent. He he's come. He has really cool. He's a funny guy. Gave me a lot of good content too. Um, and uh, I just talked to another, oh, Tyler Short. Thank you for replying back, Tyler Short. You're a basketball guy, um, but yeah. And then uh, the last guy, I like this guy. Reminds me of, uh, I think he's Italian. Let me look at his video real quick. The Bro Cart Investor, oh, what a cool guy. So uh, if you guys are heard my shout outs to you, thank you so much guys. Uh, love your guys' content and uh, hope my channel gets as good as your guys. So uh, yeah, let's get down to it guys. I uh, hope the lighting is all right. There, there's a better angle. So this Topps Chrome card right here, guys. Um, had a bad experience. These uh, obviously in Walmart, Target, I live in the Southern California area near LA, um, borders with Orange County. So I kind of go into all those little stores there. Uh, I know last week it came out Thursday and I know these boxes of cards were virtually impossible to find as I was watching other YouTube channels. Some people got them early. Uh, some people have some fat deals for people somehow get the boxes. Um, what I learned with this hobby is that the, the best thing to do is keep it honest for, you know, um, kids and, and, and keeping it and, and just keeping it in a good value. You know, I have a, a son who's almost uh, going to be three and I hope that he's going to be into this collection card stuff um, later on and what I've learned here is that the greed factor of people just buying buying boxes of a card takes away from um, kids enjoyment the nostalgia of just how we did it when we were younger and collecting cards and finding boxes and now everyone just buys them all up and doubles triples the price and unfortunately it's a supply and demand market especially how sports cards have blown it's funny I always argue with my friends who are in the stock i tell them sport cards are literally the same thing the only difference is that the sport card when you buy it you know where you pack you, you you rip it or whatever you put it in your safe and it's still going to hold money no matter you know whether you sell it for two dollars or two hundred dollars down the line you know what i mean and that's the difference with touching a stock you can't see the stock or touch it you lose the money there or you gain it but you don't physically have the money right there with the card it's always my argument on that ordeal but sport cards i don't have to say much you guys obviously saw the 1986 flare flare card box set unopened that sold for over a million dollars and that's just crazy that someone bought that and there's probably like 20 Michael Jordan rookies in there so anyways I've talked too much guys let's get down to business guys once again appreciate uh, the support don't forget that subscribe button down below as always we got the trusty sog knife uh, I am a doomsday prepper I'm active military uh, I have about 
couple more years to retire and I'm a doomsday prepper like I said so um, weapons fighting guns all that kind of stuff is my forte so down the line I might put that on my channel so anywho uh, let's go ahead and cut this down and like I said before we're gonna look for a Luis Robert and a Kyle Lewis so that's what we're hoping for right and so with, with this oh by the way this guy was a complete douche I left a bad review on this guy on eBay so I probably should have mentioned I paid $37 this retails for $19.99 so this is a uh, uh, I believe they're called hobby boxes or blaster box and then they have the jumbo pack and then the fat packs and the cellos and this retails for 20 bucks and I paid 37 with free shipping this guy from New York complete douche I mean look at this condition so I left him a bad review and I'm like, dude, what an a-hole, you know, like how do you send the car? You put in this little thin paperback like packaging. You would think they put in a box with some bubble wrap. No, what a douchebag. So yeah, I hope you're watching and I hope I get a freaking million dollar card because you were such an a-hole. So anywho, um, here's all the stuff, the refractors. Uh, sorry about the lighting guys. Hope you can see it right there. But yeah, um, opening up the box right here, and as I'm learning, getting more comfortable with unboxing, my channel is not just uh, box strip, guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a card investor and collector, okay? So um, this is just part of the hobby that I enjoy, and then what I do with my other cards, I sell the rest of them, and I, I like to do team sets and just sell them for dirt cheap to people who collect the cards. You know, give back to the hobby, because I don't care, I'm a Dodger fan, you know what I mean? So. Um, the only thing is, disclosure guys, you guys know I tear up Houston Asterix cards right away. So, unless it's that rookie pitcher, I'm tearing up all of them. Especially that Jose Altuve, I can't stand that douche. So, really nice card. You got Pete Alonzo and Aaron Judge on there, Topps Chrome. I mean, just look at this a-hole, guys. Look at this. How? So, you got a bad review from me. So, seven packs, one bonus pack, four cards per pack. Uh, the big one for here is they have the sepia, where it's like a negative uh, sepia refractor. It's kind of cool looking. I actually bought a Mookie Betts one, um, actually today. I bought it for about 10 bucks, so I hope I get one. I also got the rainbow refractor uh, Mookie Betts one I bought on eBay today. But right there, 32 cards per pack, and uh, let's get digging, guys. This is the fun part about it, right? So here we go, here we go. So authentic, authentic authenticity, can't talk right now. Um, what to keep this hobby honest, right? When you open up these boxes, this is the fun part about it. So here, one more time so you guys see the box. I'm gonna put it to the side. And here we go. So let me take out the distractions away from you guys so you guys can see fully on that ordeal. Okay, so we'll put that in the back just in case we get some good hits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have our bonus sepia pack, right? All right, so. Here we go, guys. This is the fun part. Ooh, almost broke tradition. Let's get the plastic gloves on. Sorry about that, guys. Got to make sure if I'm going to preach something right, I am doing this right. And then to my, my buddy Vinyl. I love that guy, Vinyl Collecting. This guy I just stumbled across. Really cool guy. He collects like Simpson stuff and whatnot. He wore some purple gloves. And I uh, gave him a little shout out. I was like, yeah, I got that picked up that day from you. So pretty awesome when people uh, give you little shout outs on little tips that they've learned from you. You know, I'm just giving back what I've learned along the way from other channels. So I just really love this community, guys. It's a lot of fun. So being really careful, tearing it open. Here we go. Here we go. Now I've noticed when people open up, they look at the back. See, look at this. I hope that this isn't damaged. Look, it's already kind of cornered right there. Freaking a-hole. Oh, all right, guys. Oh, maybe that's the way the card goes. All right, so here we go. So we have a Damsey Swanson. So really gorgeous card, guys. The Topps Chrome, um, they took the top 200 players from the Topps uh, Series 1 and 2, and they put them in the Topps Chrome. And obviously, Chrome, guys, is just like Don Russ Optic, Don Russ Regular. Topps Chrome is obviously the higher value with certain cards over Topps, right? Okay, um, so we have... Uh, Danny Swanson, like I said, we have a Victor Reyes, a Josh Hader, uh, Refractor, the racist guy, right? So I'm definitely selling that one. And Asian Invasion, we got a Yushi Kima Yuchi. I hope I said that correctly. So nothing that I like so far. So I'll put that to the side. And you guys are always welcome to message me below because I hold on to these cards and try to do team sets and whatnot. If you guys are interested in specific ones, let me know and you know maybe I'll do a giveaway. And whatnot so 
Really appreciate your guys' support in uh, my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. All right, what do we got here? We got a Paul Dijon. I see a little refractor right here. We have a Yo Monacata. We wanted a loose a Luis Franco. And what do we got here? And we have a Danny Jansen, a refractor. It's a nice little refracting cool card right there. So it's a chrome right there. I learned with the number right there, it'll say refractor right there. And then in some cases right here, I, I learned that the number down here, you have to really, really pay attention. It'll actually tell you if it's a refractor, a sepia. Um, they really break it down the serial number. And then we have an Adrian Morgan. So not, not, nothing good so far. We got one, two, three, four, five more packs. So um, these boxes now, guys, have easily doubled and some have tripled the price um, on eBay. I haven't checked Comp C and Slab Stocks. So I'm hoping in the future that I'll somehow mysteriously find some boxes of cards. I doubt it, but we'll see along the way. Don't want to go over the crazy budget, right? So we have Rowdy Talis. That's a cool name. Uh, we have Alberto Mondesi, and we have a Refractor 80. It looks like it's an 85 series. Uh, Brendan McKay. I've heard of him. I hear, I hear he's pretty good. Brendan McKay. And we have a... Oh, a rookie card, uh, Arctid Aquino. I saw that in a couple on another channel. So that's the 85 guys. You can see right there. It's a throwback to 85. It's not a serial number card, but pretty sweet looking refractor card. Okay, Brandon McKay. Let me know if that guy is uh, any good. All right, we got four more. What's going on here, guys? Got four more cards to go. All right. So we got. Um, Kila Marte, Xander Bogart. So, oh, that's cool. That's the negative card. That's the negative card that they were talking about right there. That's a nice card right there. And what do we have here? Oh my God, an asterisk. But this is the rookie card. So remember I caught it, guys. This is the rookie card. This is the rookie card. I can sell this for some money right here. So I will not tear that one up, guys. But you know I love tearing up asterisk cards. And we have Brian Anderson. So I'm really curious with this sepia card right here. It's a Chrome 137, Sander Bogarts. That's a really neat looking card. Oh God, I wish I could destroy that card. Can't destroy money, guys. All right, we got three more packs. Come on, are we gonna get that Luis Franco? Luis Franco. Did I say Luis Franco? No, oh, I mixed up them. Luis Robert or what's his face? Kyle Lewis. All right, we got a Walker Bueller. Nice. I'm a Dodger fan, so that's going in my collection. So I have to buy that. Awesome. Love you, Walker. We got a Shoei Otani. Not bad. Nice. We have a Ricky Henderson of the A's. Oh, that's that die cut. That is a cool card. I've seen these ones. I know Ricky Henderson was pretty popular back in the day. That should sell me some. That should that that, that, that should retail for some way, um, some good money. And we have a show noose. So get A stuff. I seem to always get A stuff or Padre stuff, man. In some of my packs, I've opened up not top script. I've gotten some pretty good luck on Dodgers when I opened up the last video when you guys saw my uh, my John Russ ones. So that was pretty neat. All right. So what we got here? All right. We got one more pack going, guys. Let's see if we got the good luck. We have Blake Schnell. We have, oh, Luis Robert, rookie card. Oh my God. We got the Luis Robert card. <laughs> wow. We got the Luis Robert card. Pools, show us pools, brother. You might be my good luck, dude. The Mookie Betts, the Mookie Betts was the good luck charm. A Topps Chrome, Luis Robert Rookie Chrome card. Oh my gosh. Talk about a beginner's luck. Talk about a beginner's luck. Oh my gosh. This is easily going over $60 on eBay. I cannot believe I pulled this card. Wow. <laughs> Wow, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Man, I might not sell that card. Oh my God, look at that good luck charm. 
Wow, second to last pack. Oh, and future stars. We got a twins. Oh my God, sorry about that guys. I'm so excited. Wow. We got a Williams Astadillo. I don't know who you are. I'm so freaking happy. And then we have another Trey Mancini. Oh my God, guys. I can't believe I picked a Luis Robert. 37 bucks and I, I made my money back and then some. Wow. Gosh, and I've been seeing a lot of other channels. People have been hitting on the Luis Robert. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that great or keep it raw. You know, I'm gonna have to research this market and see how it goes, but wow, guys. I told you that Mookie Betts was good luck. All right, we got a Chris Archer. I've seen this guy before. We got a Broke Burke. We have a Yu Chang of the Cleveland Indians. I guess he's pretty good. I have a bunch of his cards and a Randy Arzelana. Oh my God. I can't believe it, guys. I got Luis Robert. Oh my gosh. And last but not least, we have the Sepia Refractor cards. Now, these are, I know these are um, not massly produced. So if I somehow hit the jackpot and get another Luis Robert, I'll probably freaking cry and like jump for joy. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. But off the bat right there, you can see guys, they have the chrome number right there and they have the refractor. So right off the bat, let's see what happens guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we have a Zach Ga Ga Galen, we have a Miguel Rojas, we have a John Lester, and we have an Elmoy Minimis. So right there, I think these are the popular ones. I, I'm sorry about the lighting. It has that like that rookie little trophy thing, but that's freaking cool as heck right there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much um, for supporting this channel, guys. Wow, I'm keeping this box as good luck. Maybe Karma was on my side today and getting this box of card, even though it came beat up, I hit the jackpot, guys. It wasn't a refractor. Oh, maybe, no, I'm sorry, it was a refractor. No, was it a refractor? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I, I'm gonna have to research this as I'm making this video, but Luis Robert, the rookie card. Oh my gosh, guys. How does somebody like me get this? <laughs> Thank you. You know what? And probably throwing all the shout outs to everybody is what set the good karma for me, honestly. I really believe in the way the universe works. You do nice things for people. You throw the shout outs, you comment, you just be real, you know? And sorry about that. I cracked that a little bit, but got to top load that. And wow. Oh my God, guys. This is the best pull on my channel so far. Freaking awesome. Well, guys, that's gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna have a good night. Wow. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I do have another pack of cards that I will be opening up, guys. Um, I'll give you a quick, as my next video, I picked this up from Target for less than 10 bucks. Decided to go with the William McCovey of the Giants. I saw this sell for $20 for the card itself. So I'm gonna take my luck. There's three packs in there and that'll be my next video to open. But thank you so much guys. Looks like my boy Mookie Betts was the good luck charm. I didn't get any of his cards, but he got me the Luis Robert. And until then, thank you so much for subscribing guys. Please comment like below. I appreciate the community. I appreciate all the support and I hope my channel continues growing and I provide you guys good content. So until then, I'm uh, your host, LT, and don't forget to live in happiness, healthiness, and harmony. Take care, guys. LT out.